Okay, so this is video number two for lesson number four. And we're gonna take the song Daydream uh, by The Love and Spoonful, and we're gonna do it pretty slowly. Now, there is a video on already of this song, but it's a little fast. So I'm doing a beginner uh, slow version for you um, for this, okay? So we have our chords of C, a7, D minor, G7, and you do that again, C, A7, D minor, G7. All right, so that is, uh, I don't know if it's a verse or but we'll do, whatever it is, we're just gonna do it now, okay? So, hopefully you have your paper in front of you and you can follow along, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. What a day for a daydream. What a day for a daydreaming boy. of the song so let's do that again all right nice and slow all right now you're aware of where you have to go five six seven eight Which is an F chord, a D7 chord, a C chord, A7 chord, F chord, D7. So we're doing the same thing we just did, C chord, A7. Doing the same chords again, F chord, G7, C, A7. Now we're going to go to a D7 chord, and you're just going to strum it once, okay? And then you're going to go to your G7 chord. So you got plenty of time because you're only going to strum that D7 chord one time, and then you get to your, get ready for your G7. Okay, so let's put those two together, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. first three lines it's two strong chord changes okay so it's F D7 C A7 F D7 C A7 F D7 C A7 D7 and G7 to the, what we did up ahead, where you have the C, A7, D minor, G7, C, A7, D minor, G7. Alrighty? Now, where it says whistle, um, people are playing kazoos. 
I do not play a kazoo, so you all have the privilege of hearing me play a kazoo. But we do have several people who play the kazoo, and that's where they do that, wherever it says whistle. All righty? So let's take this nice and slow from the top, just single strumming, okay? Five, six, seven, eight. try doing it now with a shuffle okay with a little bit more um enthusiasm so i don't lose my place okay all right five six seven eight Thank you. 
to follow along. Alrighty? How much time? Okay, so I have a couple of minutes to do some exercises with your E7 chord, okay? So remember, your E7 chord, finger number one, top string, first fret, finger number two, second from the top string, second fret, finger number three, bottom string, second fret. So that is your E chord, okay? So you're not going to like having to do this chord, but it's going to open up so many songs for you. Okay, so I want you to do C chord. E7 chord. A minor chord. F chord. Let's do that again, okay? Take a deep breath. C chord. E7 chord. C chord. Alrighty? This time we're going to do another one. We're going to do C chord. G7 chord. You're not going to be happy here. E7 chord. E7 again. A7. So write it down. C chord. G7 chord. From that G7 chord, you have to get to an E7 chord. Do another E7 chord. Go to an A minor chord. Okay, so that's your practice and your recap of lesson number four. Hope you're having fun. Bye-bye.